Hey, my name's Josh from ptstartupsecrets.com and today I want to talk about how to become a fully booked personal trainer. So essentially being fully booked means that your calendar is packed out. Like you don't have space to fit clients in or to take on new clients on board and you know, you're just busy throughout the day. Now, whilst it might sound like, you know, hard work, which it definitely is, it is a, an amazing position to be in. Number one, you're helping and training more clients at a time, which is obviously amazing in itself. Number two, you're gonna be making tons of money being fully booked. And number three, it establishes yourself essentially as an authority in your gym. If you're always in there, you're always busy, like members of the gym always see that you're training with someone. Essentially, it's, it's a sign that you're obviously a good trainer, that you know what you're doing. You know, and that's a wonderful position to be in, even if you are working, you know, lots of hours in a week. And obviously the opposite to this is not being fully booked, having loads of gaps in your calendar, having lots of white space, being around the gym, having no clients, you know, and essentially, you know, you might, you know, you might be in a position where you start feeling sorry for yourself, your bank account's not looking good, you don't have many clients, you might lose another client, clients are hard to find. And essentially, you know, it's not a great position to be in. And I have been in both, trust me. So that's how I know. So I'm gonna give you the step-by-step -step process on, you know, how you can become a fully booked trainer. So number one is you want to set your schedule. So, this is an interesting one, because obviously if you, let's say you only work five hours a week, you only want to work on Monday evenings and Tuesday evenings between five to 8 p.m. Now, you know, logic says that, you know, you should be fully booked really easily with this attitude if you've only got a few hours available. But if you're only coming into the gym in those times, you know, it might not be the smartest approach to get fully booked, because if you don't have any clients, you're only giving yourself those windows to get new clients, if that makes sense. Yeah, so I actually found limiting your hours potentially will actually might make things harder to get fully booked. So I've had times where I've only, you know, I've limited my schedule to only work in the mornings till lunchtime and I found it so hard to pack those out versus being in the gym all day. For the simple reason as you, if you're in the gym all day, you're coming across more members, you know, you're having more opportunities to sell more people essentially. Yeah, and you know, once, you know, you're gonna meet people, for example, so let's say you wanna work, only wanna work in the mornings. You're gonna meet some people who are only coming in the evenings because that's what they do by default, but they might be happy to train with you in the mornings because they can, but they just choose not to. So if all those times you're missing out on the evenings, you're not coming in the evenings, you know, you're essentially missing the opportunity to link up with them and to connect with them, to get them on board as clients, to train them in the mornings, if that makes sense. And I had to learn this the hard way a couple of times. So if I was you, if I wanted to, if, if, if I had loads of gaps in my calendar and I wanted to pack out my schedule, I would open up my whole calendar. I'm telling you, like I would be the first one in the gym and I would essentially be the last one out of the gym. And you know, as a business owner, dedicated to your business, dedicated to helping more clients, making more money, then, you know, if you're actually serious about this, then this should be something that you're like, okay, cool. Like if, you, if this is just a hobby for you and this is not something you really want to do or you just want to make a little bit of income on the side, then I'm not the right channel for you because, you know, my, I'm all about, you know, getting people, helping people to be hitting big numbers. Um, so I want people to be making, you know, doing 5,000, 6,000, 7, 8, 9, 10 plus a month. And I think you can do it. Um, I've done it. I've had times making over 11,000 a month and I know exactly how. And these are one of this, this, these lessons I'm giving you right now is one of the key reasons why I managed to do that. And, you know, obviously it's a mindset thing, it's an attitude thing. If you've got kids, then maybe this is not for you. Uh, but if you're, you know, if you have the availability to do it and you have the drive to make money, then this is what I would do. And this is what I would advise. So open up your schedule. So let's say, you know, so what I was doing, I'll just say what I was doing, starting at 6 a.m. And essentially, generally, my, I would finish at 8 p.m. So these are 14 hour days. I do that Monday to Thursday. On the Friday, again, I'd start at 6 a.m. And then I finish at about 7 p.m. And on Saturdays, I will start at 9 a.m. and finish at about 2 p.m. 
So major, major, lots of hours, lots of hours. Um, and this is how I essentially managed to make those, um, make over 11K in a month. Now it's a lot of money, don't, I mean, sorry, <laughs> it is a lot of money, it's a lot of hours, don't get me wrong. I'm not denying that it's gonna be hard work um, and you're gonna have to sacrifice a lot. But, you know, 11K is 11K in a month. Like, that is a lot um, for the majority of the population. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's people making that in a day. But, you know, I'm just telling you what's possible at a low cost gym, what I've found, and these are the secrets that have worked for me that I wanna share with you. So open up the schedule, number one. Number two, get Calendly. Calendly. That's an L there. So you wanna use Google Calendar to schedule in your sessions. Um, and you want to use Calendly. So Calendly is amazing because this will allow your clients to book in session times when they like, yeah? So versus you saying, or someone saying, I want, uh, when can we train next week? And you're saying, oh, I can do Monday, either 5 or 7 p.m. Because generally, if, you, if, you, if someone asks you about times, you don't want to say, I can do this time or this time or maybe this time or maybe this time, just give them two times. Even if you've got the whole day free, just give them two times, which are most convenient for you. Let them choose. If they can't do those, just give them another two times, yeah? So, but instead of having this back and forth, I actually cut that out completely and I introduced Calendly. So literally, I send them a link. They can see all my slots available, yeah? So from, you know, like I advise morning to evening. So the times I was making over 11K a month, I was staying in the gym. I wasn't going home to shower or eat. I would shower in the gym. I'd bring food, meal prep into the gym to eat. So I was there all day. So I literally allowed my clients to book in a time whenever they wanted. If there was a time, for example, I had to go to the dentist or do something, then I would block out the time in my calendar, if that makes sense. So you can either do that via Calendly itself, or you can just set up an event in your calendar and it will sync with the availability. So essentially, I let my clients pick in the times. I was very relaxed when it comes to booking in the times. Only when it comes to cancelling, I still would want that 24 hours notice, um, essentially. But this made a whole crazy amount of difference because once you put the power in their hands to, put, to book their schedule, it's crazy how flexible your clients will get. Because if you're saying, I can do this time or this time, a lot of clients you know, I found will put their foot down and like, no, I can't train at this time. So, you know, and, and kind of put the pressure on you. But if you put the onus on them, you know, and let them have the flexibility to book when they like, you know, these slots will just get filled out, trust me. They'll just get, you know, just get packed out without you even realizing, yeah? So this is really important, make sure you get this because, you know, times where you thought you'd never get clients. So for example, I found it really hard to get clients at 3 p.m. because it's dead. When I open this up, my 3 p.m.s would get booked, my 10 a.m.s, 11 a.m.s would get booked, my 4 p.m.s, times which are usually dead, would get booked out because I opened it up, I let clients pick, you know, choose those times at will. Um, so yeah, that's really important. Next, so if you have an empty schedule, I want you to follow this process, yeah? So one, well, let's do A. A, you're gonna do the free work. B, you're gonna do your assessments. And C, you're gonna be training your clients. And then D is repeat. Now, let me break this down for you. So the free work is all the activities in the gym that you do to get new clients on board, which you don't get paid for. So, speaking to members on the gym floor, approaching members on the gym floor, doing inductions, teaching classes, answering the door. Those four, just focus on that. So, you know, like I said, you've already set your schedule, right? So you, you know, even if you don't have a client, you're going to be in the gym. That's really important. So when I say set schedule your, set your hours, let me just reiterate that. Even without a client, even without a class, even without anything that you're set to do, you're still in the gym, so you're just, in the gym, yeah? So in that time in the gym, in that white space where you're in the gym, <laughs> just making sure that's clear, you're doing the free work, you're teaching the classes, you're doing the inductions, answering the door, uh, approaching people on the gym floor. So, and, and from that activity, you're gonna start booking in assessments because you're gonna be offering them your free fitness assessment. 
or something along that line, whatever you do, your free session, maybe it's a free taster session, whatever it is. So, so in my calendar, so let's say you've got a white calendar, these are in red. So I block them in. So if I've got a class to do, I block that in red. If I've got induction to do, I block that in red. If I've got time on the gym floor, I might even block that out in red, yeah? Then you've got your assessments. So I will block these in, in orange, let's say. On my calendar, it's actually purple, but for this example, I'm gonna put orange. So, you know, someone wants a free session, so you block blocking these in. So now you're gonna get a load of oranges on your calendar, yeah? And then eventually you, st you sell these assessments, you sell these clients, sorry, these members who do the assessments and you start getting clients. And now you've got a lot of green on your calendar, yeah? And a lot of these clients will wanna train on the same times every week. And you know, if you're selling, you know, if you're not selling packages and you're not selling pay as you go and you're selling clients from getting the results. So in 12 weeks, we want to get you here. So for the next 12 weeks, we're gonna book you in on these times, Mondays at 7 a.m. Or, or Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Like these slots should be booked out indefinitely, essentially, because hopefully you're gonna be training these clients for six months to a year or longer. So you don't have to worry about those slots. You need to start worrying about these other white slots you got. So again, these other white slots you got where you're not training clients, again, you're doing the free work, you're booking in the assessments, you're trying to convert them to clients and you just keep going. Because you're dedicating that time in the gym where you don't have a client, you're still there, you're spending that time doing the free work, booking the assessments. And before long, you're gonna have so much green on your calendar that you're gonna be finding it hard to even find people to book assessments in, which is a good sign, it's a great sign. If you don't have any time, if someone can only do Monday evenings after between six and 8 p.m. and there's no time, fantastic. Book them in two, three weeks down the line where you do have time, or just give them, again, the Calendly link where it gives them the option and the freedom to book it when they can, and just keep doing the free work. And eventually, you won't even have time to do the free work because you'll be so busy with doing your clients and having those assessments that you already booked in. And obviously, you wanna keep converting those assessments to clients. If those assessments don't drop out, if they, if they don't convert, then you have more free time to do the free work if that makes sense, to book in assessments, to get clients, yeah? And there are gonna be times where clients don't turn up. So now you have white space in your calendar. And what do you do? You fill it up with free work. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get a packed out schedule. It's very simple, yeah? And it all starts from dedicating that time in the gym, very simple. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like this is literally the secret that got me from you know, making 5K months, 6K months, to making 11K months. Literally, those couple changes. Like, this is literally, like, in terms of Calendly and, you know, these little differences, you know, I, if you were to, if I were to, if I was, you know, you, it is priceless information. I'm, I'm lost for words how crazy this changed my business, yeah? So I hope you found this valuable. If you did, please subscribe so you can catch my next videos. Like it as well if you did enjoy it. Leave a comment. I read all of the comments. I respond as well. So, so uh, please leave a comment. Catch me, you know, send me a message on social media, Instagram, Facebook. Join my free Facebook group. I've got a PT Startup Secrets group where we share ideas on how to grow our businesses. It's like a private mastermind. So join that. Would love to see you in there. And essentially, yeah, if you, if you do want help, um, on how to grow your business, how to grow your fitness business in a you know commercial gym in a low cost gym, you want to be hitting five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand plus months. Um, you know, find me at ptstartupsecrets.com. I would love to help you. You can find my story there, and I'd love to you know have a conversation with you, see how I can help you to implement these things into your business as well. All right, catch you on the next one.